The Troy women's basketball team hosted the Arkansas State Red Wolves in Trojan Arena Thursday night for what would be a hard-fought game all the way to the final buzzer. It was a relatively slow start for the Trojans, getting behind by as many as 12 points in the first quarter. It just kind of gauges like I didn't really have them ready to play because if we're ready to play, People don't start out out-rebounding us like that, and that, that started a downward spiral for us. Despite falling behind, the Trojans continued to fight back in the second quarter, and going into the half, the score was 41-48, favoring Arkansas State. Out of halftime, the Trojans would start chipping away at the seven-point lead, and eventually Troy took their first lead of the game, 62-61, to with a little over two minutes left in the third. Um, after halftime, we just kept chipping away the lead a little bit at a time, and they stayed positive and kept trying to, you know, do what it takes to get the lead then. But again, it's just much better for Troy basketball if we start out with that energy and establish dominance from the beginning. Before the end of the third, Arkansas State would regain the lead, making the score 66 to 65 going into the fourth quarter. The Trojans stayed within striking distance, not falling behind by more than four points for most of the fourth quarter. After a timeout with two minutes left in the game, missed shots and fouls by the Trojans in combination with the Red Wolves continuing to make shots and free throws would put the Trojans in a nine-point deficit with 46 seconds left in the game. Ultimately, Troy would lose to the Arkansas State Red Wolves 98-92. Troy would have four players in double digits, including Jamia Hollings, having the most with 15 points. Taishika Porsche contributed a double-double, scoring 12 points and getting a game-high 15 rebounds. Troy will make a trip to Louisiana for a Saturday night game against the ULM Warhawks. I think ULM is the most improved team in the league to this point. Um, they are a team that out-rebounded us. The only two teams have out-rebounded us in this conference season, and they're one of them. So we have to, we have to get what I call the hungriest, to go get that win.